I don't know about you, but sometimes I find myself uh, painfully aware when things are not life-giving and when they feel quite the opposite, like we're devolving, whether it be in a global scale, like hearing about war or famine or people being killed or profits being put before people, it can, it can feel quite, quite daunting and disturbing, of course. Um, and then on a per more personal level, like when I notice myself acting in a way that's limiting or harmful to myself or to others, um, or I find that in others when people aren't acting too cool. And sometimes it can feel like, oh my gosh, we're here again. How are we here again? And sometimes it feels like we can do better than this. And sometimes it's just like, this isn't okay anymore. Um, I know I have a wide range of emotions that come up, you know, when, when I meet this opposite of life giving energy. Um, and I know that all, like all of this destructive behavior, it just can't do anymore. It just, it needs to be over. It, it it's, it can't be over or it, it can't be continuing. We, you know, we need to draw that line in the sand. If we're, we as humanity are coming to a place of thriving and prosperity together, if we are um, truly evolving as spiritual beings, we must draw that line in the sand and say, no more. This ends now. This is done. This is done in me. This is done. And sometimes it can sound so easy just to say it. It is done. Um, and I've had experiences where a hard line was drawn for, you know, I've drawn, drawn a hard line for myself. And I literally it just felt that easy. Like it was done. And there are times that I've probably more often than not had experiences where I've had to face that thing that I've declared as over. Um, and it still felt somewhat present in my life even though I set that, that line in the sand and a new trajectory um, moving forward. I'm remembering a time when I was in a relationship. I've actually have kind of a history in the, in the thing, thankfully the more distant past of um, not healthy relationships or toxic relationships. And I remember a time when I was fighting with my boyfriend and then I was just hit by a larger awareness. Like this, you know, this can't go on anymore. This is not healthy. This is not generative for anybody. And that line in the sand was drawn. And, you know, I left that relationship and I went through a period of deep healing, inner work, developing my relationship with spirit. And in the future relationships, I can say definitively a new motion was set from that point. But again, I still encountered some of those old patterns that came up. Um, but I noticed that I, like, once that line was set, I had a different attitude about it. So when I noticed an old pattern come up, it wasn't like, oh, here we go again, down into the old path. It was like continuing forward in a new way. It's like honoring that um, I am an evolving being. And this is what it looks like to evolve. It looks like encountering that again, but in a new way, the way that I met it, met it shifted. And just like repeated things, each time I met that, I, I learned, I grew, I shifted. And the pattern eventually, I can say in my life, <laughs> I do not have any, any of those toxic relationships anymore because that new motion was set. And I've evolved from there. I'm at a new, in a new place and that just doesn't happen anymore.